about to go stupid, 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 stupid. We about to go stupid, 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 stupid. We about to go stupid, 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 stupid. We about to go stupid, 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 stupid. This shit we be on stupid, 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 stupid. This shit I'm blowing on stupid fruity, stupid fruity. If it ain't D.R. she right, Gucci stupid. Louis stupid. All about my check and I go stupid, stupid. Love. Big blood loud like he pooping. Nigga thugged out like he pooping. Ain't a coop, nigga can't scoop me. I hit a hate loud, call it rootin'. Don't throw throw no bird, a real extra bitch. Seating around in a dumb wheel. Push start, banana split. Dior bag, hold an extra clip. Cuff a rap, nigga. Extra drip, then stack with him. Extra flips. Slaughter the water, real loony bitch. Purse Gucci, no goony bitch. Pussy talk, no rumor ish. On the whole head like a tumor sick. Shots fired, I don't miss. I'm the definition of a this real bitch. This shit we be on stupid, 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 stupid. This shit I'm blowing on stupid fruity, stupid fruity. If it ain't D.R. she right, Gucci stupid. I'm Louis stupid. All about my check and I go stupid, 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 stupid. I'm in a two seat on my cup till no hang on me. Hang on, try buy your new phone when we in the range roll with no heat. I'm blowing on stupid fruity, stupid fruity. If it ain't D.R., she right, Gucci, stupid. I'm Louis, stupid. All about my check, and I go stupid, stupid. shit on this bitch but i just want y'all to know up front some of y'all i could tell it's probably y'all first time you know here. like y'all know i don't give a fuck and some of y'all i'm not finna say what y'all think i'm finna say because like facebook i can see a lot of y'all you sharing this bitch right away thinking i'm finna say what you think i'm finna say but i ain't finna say what you think i'm finna say it just ain't it ain't finna be what you think it's about to be i'm just gonna keep it g I know I'm finna talk my shit. And I'm gonna play my shit. Yeah. 
living in a lifestyle, loving with meaning. If you say you can't see it, I'm leaving. Self esteem on 10, believe it. Spent too many years staying through trees and praying for reason. Heart taking beatings, real nigga, me fast. I need him. Don't give a fuck about the past, she could keep him. I wake up and choose me, fuck him. And my relationship goes above them. We don't fuck these niggas for free. Boy, you gotta earn it. Say you don't know how to love. Boy, you better learn it. Cause I would not settle for less than enough. I earned it. And I ain't going back to an ex that bridge. He burned it. Praying, praying for reason. Heart taking beat in back. Boy, you gotta earn it. Don't, don't give a fuck about the past. Y'all know that's my shit. Willie, what's up? Listen, this one of them lies that's gonna make some of y'all offended. And if you're new to my page, just know I really don't be caring. Just be honest with you. So if you start typing all that shit, thinking like you're gonna change my perspective or type up your whole life situation to try to make me believe that what I'm saying is different because you don't want it to be true for you, just don't waste your time. Like, do not waste your time. This is one of those pages but when you come on here, what I say be law. You don't like it, you don't like my voice, you don't like how I look, I don't know what to tell you. I didn't ask you to come here. When I went live and we live on Instagram and Facebook, I didn't ask nobody to get on here. So just so y'all can be adults and be personally accountable, like I be preaching to y'all, it's a choice to stay on here from this point on. So if I say some stuff that make you feel some type of way, I don't know what to tell you. I use a lot of profanity. It comes along with being on my platform. You don't like it. Oh, well. I refer to people, mamas and aunties and all kind of shit as bitches, hoes. I call your daddy a nigga, whatever. If you don't like it, this is not going to be the life for you. Everybody clear? Now, y'all keep sending me videos. And this is one particular video. I think like seven or eight different people done sent me the shit, right? And this, you know, one of the online influencers similar to myself um speaking on the topic that matches the caption i put on facebook so the whole concept that they're trying to get across to females and this is one thing that y'all got to understand right part of the reason why i do what i do is because there are a lot of platforms on social media that try to capitalize off the fact that a lot of people um are looking for a place to go group up and continue this pity party. A place to go sit somewhere and be in a group of people or on a platform or on a page or in a social media group where we can all just say, it's the niggas doing something to me. It's the bitches doing something to me. They always bothering me. They keep hating on me. Oh my God, the reason why my life is like this is because of other people. Like there are a lot of platforms online that they capitalize off of the fact that a lot of y'all are okay with just being a victim of life, right? You don't really feel like you genuinely in control of shit. Anyway, to get to my point, y'all, about seven or eight of y'all sent me the same video with this particular online influencer, you know, explaining to what sounds like an audience of mostly women that, you know, ain't no female gonna ever leave a good man alone. So basically to other females that watch they ex new bitch or you know they 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 niggas ex online like girl ain't no woman gonna leave no good dude so you don't got yourself no good dude is what I caught from the live that y'all kept sending me the little video clip y'all kept sending me right now y'all know me I don't follow very many people um I don't really watch other people on social media. The way that I think the stuff I have going on, I read, I study, you know, I'm a philosopher of my own thoughts, um, if that even makes sense, right? So, you know, some of y'all sent me the video and just sent the video. Some of y'all sent me the video and with an amen because you agree with it. But I need to help, like, bring some of y'all to the forefront, right? Because the concept is, for those of y'all females that get on social media and you start watching the nigga's ex and feeling some type of way about her or thinking that she's jealous of you ain't no woman gonna leave a good man is you know what y'all have 
told y'all selves based on this video and you know whatever else in your life going on that got you believing that that makes sense right so for me to y'all shit's just not true it's just not accurate it's not right doesn't make sense not correct there's no period there's no you know whatever the little sayings is y'all like to put on the back of statements it's not true it's not and it goes vice versa men and women leave good men and women alone all the time don't matter if y'all want to agree or not i break the shit down to where it's common sense and if you still choose to run with it that'll be your own dumb ass self right and i'll start with females only simply because the video y'all was sending me was talking about females right so obviously if you're a female and you're dating a dude and you're obsessing over watching his ex on social media that's a whole nother video in its own i don't disagree that that part you need some help child but the part about oh women don't leave good men there is a great majority of women that cannot manage their emotions that are not in a good space in their life to even be able to recognize when a man is a good man let alone know whether to leave him or not based on that particular fact that they can't even sort out there are a lot of women nowadays that have conformed to this victim mentality to where they can't even genuinely tell if the nigga has the actual characteristics to conform to the basics of a healthy relationship. It's a lot of women that y'all in a space where you have left a good man alone and your mind has told you that he wasn't a good man based on the hypothetical situations you've created in your mind that aren't real based on your mismanagement of emotions everybody keeping up so far like good niggas get left all the time so this whole like look saying y'all keep telling yourself to make yourself feel better like you didn't actually lose a good person that's just a coping me mechanism to make you feel like you're mostly right in all the failed relationships you've been in i'm not saying a bitch reasons for leaving the dude alone is right or wrong not even speaking on that but this whole concept that y'all hoes done grouped up and keep telling y'all selves and reciting and sharing and posting that, oh, if you seen a decent woman leave the dude alone, like he was no good dude, cause ain't no woman that's a decent woman gonna leave a good man alone. They do it all the time, bitch. We do it all the time, bitch. All the time. And the same goes vice versa. There are dudes that have left good women alone and it has to do with the season that they're in in their life what's going on with their mental rather they could actually keep up or not y'all really got to understand what i'm explaining because y'all literally will take quotes and try to live by them as a way to make yourself feel better about not working on you or to make yourself feel like even though I'm the common denominator in all of these relationships, it's still these niggas or it's still these bitches. Like none of them wasn't no good person. All of them was bad. I was mostly right. They was mostly wrong. They did me wrong. It wasn't never my fault. All they did was lie to me. All they did was cheat on me. And all I did was be good. And if I left them alone, they ain't a good person. This is cap. Y'all got to quit this grouping up and like really encouraging one another to like buy into this bullshit. Yes, it be excuses. Remember I told y'all in a video there are excuses and then there are reasons. Y'all bitches will cling to any excuse to not go work on you. Y'all hoes will cling to any excuse to not be accountable for the choices you've made when dealing with people. Y'all motherfuckers will hang on to any excuse to not accept the fact that I didn't have any boundaries. I didn't make a bitch date me. 
I didn't allow myself to get to know them. I simply started fucking. I liked the person, locked in, allowed them access to all parts of me, and got myself played based on what their character was. And it wasn't that a bitch actually did nothing to me. It was that I had no, no fucking boundaries. No real value within self. No real self-esteem. These are the real problems. It ain't that all I did a one-on-one -on -one today with a dude, and this was one of my best one-on-ones, right? Dude was running down me his situation, right? And this is the story of a lot of y'all life. Dude was describing when he got married to his wife, right? They, you know, dating, fucking around, sleeping together wrong. She get pregnant. She get pregnant, and the man is not ready for marriage. But he described throughout her pregnancy she end up like putting on this sad persona as if she felt like her life was like ruined because she's pregnant and not married right so now for me when i listen to shit like this i understand if you actually want to be married before having kids bitch you shouldn't fuck unprotected i don't give a fuck who's fucking you and what they choices is you as a woman if your ass want to be married before you get pregnant bitch you ought to wrap it up until you get married okay but whatever she moping around throughout the pregnancy really giving off this emotional sadness that i want to be a wife Man ain't really ready. She don't give a fuck about that. But when I talk about pressure and monogamy, oh, y'all hoes be at my throat. Oh, what she trying to say? Let these niggas be polygamous. We supposed to let them run all over me? No. But bitch, you're supposed to be considerate of what the other person actually fucking want to do with their life. So let's fast forward. Bitch, you running around pregnant, looking all stupid in the face, using your emotions to make this man like feel bad and feel like he's a bad man or a bad person if he doesn't wed you. So guess what? He wed you to conform to the concept that he's not a good person if he don't wed you after getting you pregnant. But you're the one that had this whole philosophy that I need to be married uh, before I have a baby. Cool, he marry you. Now, of course, the marriage is not working out. Of course, it's not. Of course, because of course the man never actually want to be married organically anyway. Y'all don't want to hear this. And then when it when it end and the relationship didn't work out, you want us to believe the person wasn't a good person, even though you didn't have or give no fucks or have no care towards what they actually y'all bitches will really push for a bitch to move forward in the direction of their life. They don't really want to go. And then you will swear, I ain't make him do it. I ain't make him. But y'all already know how we as women use our emotions, how we get in groups, how we get with our fucking, you know, mamas, our aunties, our family members and conform to these uh, philosophies and these, these whole quotes that, oh, if a man don't do certain things that you want him to do, he's somehow overall a terrible person. Shit got to stop. The shit is a cap. It's what I call pressuring monogamy. And I know it's a lot of y'all. You don't want to hear it. It upsets you because you, your mama, your friends, your cousins, your aunties, them, like all of them have told you it's him. So, of course, to sit on my live and really listen and take in what I'm saying, you have to genuinely be honest with yourself that all them raggedy hoes didn't know what the fuck they was talking about. And when I say raggedy, I'm really referring to their mindset. Because it's a lot of y'all, the moves and the way that you act towards relationships and towards your baby daddy when you're co-parenting, it comes from your mama's bum-ass perspective on fucking relationships, which she's never actually been able to keep a healthy relationship going in your presence. And you steady listen to that. I did a Zoom last night and it went so well. And we talked about the importance and the necessity of having relationships in your life. And them having a purpose. And actually having an overall assignment. See, a lot of y'all motherfuckers, you don't understand the assignment. Which is why y'all out here and you conforming to all kind of bum ass sayings and philosophies and ideas to not actually work on you. That is the assignment. The assignment overall in life is for you to get to know you more and what you want, what makes you happy as time goes on. And for you to get with someone that y'all are able to coexist in a healthy relationship where both of y'all are still able to individually get to know self. I know some of y'all after this, you're not going to like me. But I, I don't give a fuck. 
And don't nobody ever leave my page after y'all type all them long comments that you disagree. No one ever goes anywhere at all. I hope y'all genuinely understand what I'm explaining before I go any further. There is a lot of y'all that your mindset is solely about right and wrong. Who was right and who was wrong. If he was wrong, if you was right. If she was wrong, if in relationships are not about that. I say it so many times on lives. They're about understanding. Conflict resolution. Do y'all values align? Your goals and his goals. And some of y'all, if you really be honest, you don't have any real goals. Which is why you overanalyze the behavior and the patterns of another person. And you make it matter more in your life than it should. And then your emotions that you can't manage, you make it the responsibility of someone else. It's a lot of y'all that don't realize, and I know your mama and daddy never told you this, but how you feel is your responsibility to manage. Doesn't matter who made you feel that way, it's your job to manage it. It's a lot of y'all, you don't even get that concept. So most of the shit I talk about, you won't understand it. You don't get that. If me and you in a relationship and I make you upset, I don't give a damn if I lie, if I cheated, if I did, whatever. However you feel, it is your job as an adult to manage it. And then rather you continue to deal with me, however you choose to deal with me, those are choices of yours. And you have to be accountable for everything that comes along with that. Just looking at y'all like y'all looking at me. But these lies y'all keep telling y'all self, oh, well, she left him alone. He probably ain't no good person. I'm saying if he don't fuck with her no more, she probably ain't no good. Y'all don't even know what good people are. Y'all don't really legitimately be knowing the definition of what a good friend is because y'all don't be one. Y'all don't know how to respect people's boundaries, communicate from a healthy space, all the stuff that you never seen growing up. Most of us was raised on survival. This way your mama talk to you in a kind of way, beat your ass, never apologize for stuff that she be wrong about, and then just come in there and cook y'all food. You hungry? Y'all want some snacks? Y'all want some juices? Y'all want to go to the park? So you have no idea how to actually coexist with another human being and operate from a space where you are accountable for the shit that you say and do, the things that you, you know, are incorrect about that you realize you are. So y'all spend y'all days doing just what y'all mama do, pointing out the wrongs because your mama could walk through the house and say what everybody else doing wrong, but she'll never walk through that bitch and talk about how she ain't got a pot to piss in or a window to throw it out of, but done fucked and made a whole bunch of y'all kids. She ain't never talked about that. Bitch ain't never said how she couldn't get her credit right in her 40, 50 years of living. Couldn't never manage to save up no real money. Ain't bought no real estate. Don't got no multiple streams of income. Couldn't keep a man whether it was y'all daddy or a new nigga. It's just all niggas ain't. She could never walk through the house and say how she ain't right for that stuff. But she could tell y'all what y'all wrong about. And you believe this is an accurate way to operate. So this is how y'all move. Then when I go to saying this shit, y'all don't like me. I don't know why. Because everything I be saying be real. A lot of y'all, you've never actually heard your parents say, I was wrong. I apologize. Or you know what? It's not necessarily about whether either one of us right or wrong, baby. Let's sit down and sort this out so we can move forward. Or hey, I'm stressed out right now because of my own choices. And this is why I be arguing at y'all to sit down somewhere and stop running in and out of my house. All kind of silly shit that y'all really just being kids. But because I can't manage my feelings as an adult, this is why I be fussing and whooping y'all ass. Because that's all I know to do. Because if you just keep going back generations, that's all the fuck happened to us as slaves when we didn't do what we were told. We got our ass whooped. So the only disciplinary method I know is ass whoopings. They ain't going to say that. Hey, <laughs> somebody to my water cup too small. Y'all know when my water run out, I'm getting off. Somebody said, it took me 20 something years to have a decent conversation on, on accountability. It starts at the house, exactly. 
exact. Some of y'all got to be real with y'all selves. The standards and the stuff that y'all asking of other people, you don't even have that. And then y'all be so mad at me. Y'all be sending me these people videos that be saying stuff, hoping that I agree with what they saying to help you feel better about the state of your life or how shit is going. And I'm not. I'm never going to. Ain't. And won't. And don't give a fuck how nobody feel about it. For those y'all that's been following me for a long time, you don't ever really see me mix my platform with a lot of people. Because there is not very many people that's willing to say the stuff that I'm willing to say. It was a, a girl yesterday on my Instagram. She typed, um, she watched the video and she typed, um, I hope you don't um, meet nobody in person and refer to their mama as a bitch because that'll be the last time you ever do a car live. Now, mind you, I done talked to plenty of people in person and talk the same way I talk now. If I want to call her a bitch, she going to be a bitch. Because here go my thing for a lot of y'all urban people. When niggas fuck up, they be a fuck nigga, a pussy nigga, a bitch nigga. When women fuck up, they be a pussy hoe, a fuck, you know, a, a, a flaw ass bitch, a, a pussy ass hoe, whatever y'all want to call them, right? But when I talk about how to fuck decades, your mama done sat there and projected the wrong behavior on you that has your life in shambles based on like continuously feeding you this fuck ass shit. Now you want to fight me because I refer to her ass as a bitch. No, you might want to go figure out who you actually should be channeling your anger towards because I'm going to talk how the fuck I want to talk based on the real shit that I talk about. You don't like it? I didn't ask you to speak with me. I ain't never been out just talking to people for no reason. Truth be told, outside of my work, I don't really even fuck with people. I just stay to myself in my family unit and the relationships in my life that serve me. Y'all got issues. And they should just be addressed and fixed. That's the best part about you having issues and you recognizing your issues. You can go work on them. You can't work on the next bitch issues. I try to explain to a, a lot of y'all relationships and when they're going bad you know i explain my strategy of restoring the vibe right this will really tell you you know once you genuinely do this rather the relationship is worth trying to pursue moving forward or not right i'll tell y'all this then i broke down to y'all so sweet how when you cannot manage your emotions you will make the relationship unrepairable just based on your reaction to what the fuck the person done did an example, catch a dude cheating. Perfect. He cheated. If y'all got it, understood monogamous agreement, he's wrong for that. But now you got to go get an understanding and decide whether you want to stay. Y'all don't push to do that. You just want to be a victim of his cheating. So the way that you react to the cheating becomes way worse than the actual action of cheating. Meaning you break y'all privacy bond as far as all of y'all dirty laundry. You air out years worth of stuff. You put yourself in a space where y'all be them fault. Somebody done went to jail. The kids done seen y'all do toxic shit. All off of this one incident and all the stuff you be done did after the one incident is really all the shit that makes the relationship tough to repair. It wasn't actually the cheating incident. And then when I talk like this, y'all think I'm trying to say the person was right for cheating or they supposed to be allowed to do that or what you ain't supposed to address. Just everything just go over your head. Just just goes way over your head. Just just way far over your head. And this is all I really wanted to say. I don't even want to say too much more. I really don't. But y'all got to stop this cap, man. Y'all got to stop telling y'all sell these flower. Oh, if she left him, that girl ain't studying you. If she left a nigga alone, he wasn't no good nigga. What the fuck are you talking about? People be in seasons of their life where shit be so fucked up for them mentally or what <laughs> Finances to the point where the motherfuckers can't even tell if they a good person or not. I'm over it. I'm over it.
don't 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 I want to say don't send me no more videos but some of y'all send me good ones no, don't don't try to convince me to go along with somebody else's bullshit ass philosophies because I told y'all it really be just to capitalize off the concept that a lot of people will gravitate towards a page or a platform if it makes them feel like it's okay to just do nothing to just blame other shit and just do it's the niggas it's all the niggas it ain't you it's all the females it ain't you it's all they trying to mess up your sense of self-worth it's all they doing this to you and it don't be that but i understand it's some people that you know they capitalizing off of that idea which personally i feel like it'd be setting us the fuck back Somebody tell me why you can't set the smoke on. <laughs> the shit I be saying, man, it, it, it go for male or female. For those of y'all that this your first live of mine that you ever been on, none of my content has to do with painting one gender against the other. And I don't give a fuck if you gay, straight, poor, rich, old, young. The shit I be speaking on be going for everyone. All that other shit, be cap. And you really got to be honest with yourself. Somebody tell my damn, have you been a fly on my wall? I don't be knowing what's wrong with people. I know a lot of stuff be left out their upbringing, but some of y'all, you just don't want to work on you. And just say that. Like, if, if you just want to stay the same, just say that. Somebody tell my love slip slow. I'm listening. <laughs> it definitely set us back. It make us beef. It make it hard for us to actually raise our kids in productive family units and shit. Like, it makes it hard for our culture to co-parent. It makes it hard for us to understand the value in relationships. I spoke on that on my live yesterday. Just understanding that it is important for you to be able to maintain healthy relationships. It's not man against woman. Woman against man. It's no... That's not how it's supposed to be. So if you in any groups on any pages where that is what y'all sit there and talk about, really, if you're trying to like, like create some sort of forward progress for yourself, it is best that you get off that shit. If it takes for somebody to make you have like a negative opinion of the opposite sex for you to go actually feel empowered to work on you and do what you're supposed to do for you once you get yourself together it's going to set you back because there's always going to be that sexual attraction to whatever you attracted to whether same sex up if it takes for you to be around somebody to tell you girl fuck these niggas go do you or bitch leave that nigga alone and go do in in the concept is i'm going to work on me because he ain't shit you're going to end up like in a space where you will not be able to maintain healthy relationships in the future. And this goes for both men and women, gay or straight. Even for some of y'all that's gay, y'all be saying the same thing. Y'all be saying the same shit. You know, just different terminology. But it be the same. Oh, I can't stand these punks. This is what y'all be saying. Oh, these niggas just be... Dude. You're of that class as well. And although you may not like some of the character traits in the guys that you're picking. Like, you gotta be accountable that as you work on you, you will then attract a better quality of a person. Regardless of what the lifestyle is. Exactly. A bitch be hooked on that trauma bonding and all that unnecessary ass shit.
I do one-on-one -on -one phone calls with individuals. I do couple one-on-ones. I do family one-on-ones. I do one-on-ones with children. Whoever, anybody that's trying to improve the way that they think and process what's going on now. Because some of y'all, y'all literally following behind the wrong people. Literally. If you're trying to book a one-on-one, -on -one, text 678-965-0698. And if you see me do a Zoom on topics that pertain to areas in your life that you actually need to improve, get in the shit. There's no, really nobody else giving out this kind of data and shit that I'm giving out. And a lot of y'all, you too prideful to get in it or you want to make it seem like you got it going on. Some of y'all from my same city, like you, 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 you can feel how you want to feel about maybe like me not knowing that you don't got it all the way together. But bitch, I'm woke, woke. Like I can tell by the shit y'all post the way y'all act like you don't got it together. And it's understandable because a lot of us was missing this from our upbringing. Some of y'all, you need to tag your mother or your father or your auntie in some of this shit. When y'all see me tour, uh, I'm coming to Houston first. And you see me, it's, it's going to be on relationships and then finances. Um, my dog said he gonna be on, on tour with me um, But he does like big shit with credit repair And giving people access to funding And really understanding how to leverage credit and all of this stuff These are the things that a bitch should mostly worry about In their day to day life Not a lot of the bullshit that we be sitting up conforming to And worrying about That is not gonna help you be a better version of you I'll be running back my Zoom on entrepreneurship, money, multiple streams of income um, for the fourth time towards the end of this month. Jerb, I know a lot of them don't want to hear it. But see, the, the, the problem is, like, and I, I've been saying this for the longest. Once you see the people around you on my page, your ass going to get dumped the left if you don't get with the program. Because it's hard to sit here and listen to the topics and the stuff I'm talking about and not want to be better. So after a while, the people are going to outgrow you. A lot of y'all, you dating a nigga, he done sent you one or two of my videos. The nigga ain't going to be attracted to your ass after a while. Just watch. And it ain't going to have nothing to do with dealing with me. It's going to have everything to do with the content and what the shit is making a bitch realize about their life. Same for some of y'all dudes. If you see your lady sitting up every night watching and repeatedly playing my lives and my videos and shit, bro, she going to leave your ass alone if you ain't getting your shit together. I'm telling you now, she's going to leave you alone. And it won't be about another nigga. Some of y'all that's friends. We talked about this in my Zoom last night. Your friends be trying to see my videos. Trying to get your ass off of that old niggas ain't shit. Little vibes and shit. Your ass don't be listening to it. The girl ain't going to be your friend after a while. Just know your pole project minded, welfare mindset, everything is somebody else's fault ass going to get left the fuck behind. And then you're going to be somewhere feeling like, oh, when people elevate, they don't fuck with you no more. I hope most of y'all was able to get something out of this live. But I just had to speak on that because a lot of y'all was sending me the same video. And a lot of y'all was trying to get me to agree with the verbiage in the video. And I don't. I don't. Y'all make sure y'all enjoy the rest of y'all Sunday. I will be posting later today about my next Zoom. And of course, if the topic pertain to you, get in that bitch. Because it's important that you constantly work on being a better version of yourself. That's really what it's about. Polishing your communication skills. Managing your emotions better. Understanding the foundation of a healthy relationship that is built on respect, trust, boundaries, privacy. Things that like y'all parents did not have conversations on these specific topics about. 
See y'all, man. Bye, IG.